My name is Maria Weiner, and I'm the president of Florida Caregivers Network. So I'm <laughs> I am so ready to start this day. I've been ready for the past seven months. So have we. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the second annual Caregiver Conference, Getting Real About Reality. Today will be a special day for all the caregivers in this room and professionals that care or know someone that lives with dementia. I hope that by the end of this day, you guys are re-energized with all this information we're gonna give you, have the tools, have all the resources, um, for you to take care of your loved one. So we're gonna start and we're gonna get real about reality. Our next speaker is um, Ms. Helen King, is the Deputy Director of the Area Agency on Aging of Pasco Pinellas. She has responsibilities for supervision, human resources, planning and program development, disaster preparedness, grants management, agency governance, training and senior advocacy. She has a bachelor's degree in sociology and a master's degree in gerontology. Please welcome Ms. Helen King. Good morning. I have 10 minutes to tell you six important things. So if you're going to you're really going to need to hone in. You don't get to ask me any questions. And if I run over, you don't get to eat lunch. <laughs> um, we have a table over there. Jara, raise your hand. I have a lovely volunteer who's also helping. But um, like Linda, we do have resources. We'll answer questions later. But I'm going to really roll through this stuff quick. All right, I'm with an area agency on aging. You all need to know and become familiar with an area agency on aging, whether it's my area agency or there's 10 more area agencies in the state of Florida. There's over 600 area agencies in the nation. Why? Because your tax dollars are going toward paying for services for seniors. Um, we provide state and federal services to seniors and now disabled adults in Pasco and Pinellas County. And you're going to find area agencies throughout the nation, no matter where you go, providing very similar things. So even if it doesn't apply to you today, you might need to know or you'll know somebody or a relative in another state, you'll get to know an area agency. Programs like Meals on Wheels, adult daycare, senior centers, legal services and counseling are some of the services that are provided. They're designed not specifically for a caregiver nor a person with dementia, although those are all included, but let's just say we're generalists. We provide services to seniors and disabled adults in the community who may have dementia. You may be a caregiver too. All right, you wanna know more about these services, you're gonna call our helpline. You have some information in your packet. We also have some information over at our table. The helpline number is 1-800-963-5337. Monday through Friday, eight, uh, yeah, eight o'clock to five o'clock, we have people who do nothing but take phone calls from people in the community or out of state or in state about how do I help somebody? Where do I go to turn for help? How do I troubleshoot this problem I'm having? I don't understand something going on in the aging process. Um, all different kinds of problems. Um, we have the resources, or we'll go look for the resources to help um, whatever that caller is calling about. The helpline is going to tell you about public and governmental services. Um, first and foremost, we are funded by federal and state government. We represent a large number of government services. For the most part, they are at no cost to a person eligible for them or at little cost. We also represent private services, much like we heard about home health or um, 
private entities in the community many are represented around the periphery of the room um, that have a role in providing services to seniors because do you think there's enough government services to take care of everybody in Pasco and Pinellas County? No. And it's not growing. They also provide general resources and financial assistance programs for seniors. So get to know the area agency, get to know the helpline, which is a program of ours. But since this program is about reality, getting real about reality, the reality is, back to the insufficient funding, government funding, there are huge waiting lists for all sorts of resources. Pinellas and Pasco have hundreds of resources for seniors. Unfortunately, we have way more than hundreds and hundreds of seniors that are in need, that are growing older every day, growing more frail, and having dependency issues. So there are waiting lists. The good thing about the waiting list, it's not first come, first serve, which some of you may say that's not the way to handle it. But it is waiting list based on top priority of need to serve somebody so that they don't go into a nursing home or a skilled facility when that isn't where they need to be. All right, Linda gave you a few notes about um, important tips. One of the tips I would say is educate yourself about resources before you need them. And I know that's easy to say. We have, we encounter, I've been part of the area agency for over 30 years. And when I started, people would say, I never heard about Meals on Wheels. I never heard about legal services. I didn't know there was transportation to take me somewhere for shopping until they had a need or a crisis that came. And then they're like, oh, I'm so glad that I know that. Well, don't wait for that crisis to happen before you educate yourself. And then when you educate yourself and you do need to turn to someone for help or call our helpline, don't downplay the situation. Don't pretend that there's really nothing much going on and you need just a little bit of help when in fact you need a lot of help. Likewise, don't upplay or make the situation more than it is. Um, all of that's going to come out as we do assessments on people. So just be real about the real situation you're encountering and we'll be in a much better position to help. The helpline is also an entry point for the state's long-term care services under Medicaid. That's all I'm going to say about it. It's a very complicated program, and if you want to know more about it, you can call our helpline or you can see me later um, after lunch or during lunch. Um, but it's an avenue for many people who have complex situations, a high degree of frailty, um, and our low income to be able to have services in their home, however that home is defined, so they can continue aging in the community rather than going into a nursing home. And finally, I'd like to mention just a few of the programs that you could learn more about if you call our helpline that relate directly to caregivers or persons with dementia. We have a caregiver program. It's a small caregiver program that we provide directly. Um, it provides respite and some other minor services. It is not for a working caregiver. Um, limited funding means we isolate those caregivers that just need a little bit of help and some, instead of somebody who needs eight hours a day kind of help. We have a program called the Victims Advocate Program. Um, if you are a crime victim or know somebody that is a victim of a crime and older, we have a program for that. Um, it's devastating when you experience a crime. And it's even more devastating when you're an older person and you've perhaps lost your pride, your dignity, your resources, et cetera, and you just 
don't feel like it's worth going on. So there are victim advocates all over the community that specialize in all different kinds of crimes. We specialize in crimes affecting older people. Two more programs, or three more programs. SHINE, Serving Health Insurance Needs of Elders. Fantastic government program that serves persons who want to know more, who have trouble navigating the Medicare system. It's complex nowadays. Um, Social Security, insurance is related to government. Um, help with the Part D program, prescription assistance. Um, we provide SHINE help all year, not just when there's open enrollment, but definitely open enrollment is one of our big areas when we receive a lot of calls. We can give you more information about that. We have an Alzheimer's disease initiative program. Um, it's a state program. It provides respite and case management, so you can learn more about that. And finally, home care for the elderly which provides a small subsidy to caregivers. So a lot of facts, I threw them at you. Bottom line, keep that helpline number. You've got a flyer, go get another flyer. Please market us, we're a nonprofit. We don't get marketing dollars to get the word out, but we want people to call and know more about what's in their community so you're prepared to take care of your loved one or take care of others in your community. Thank you very much for your attention.